2am in the car playing our favorite song Turn it up, windows down Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today's video I've got a little bit of a bedroom refresh I guess I'd call it because it's not a makeover but I just wanted to um, show some things that I've added in there um, just to make it a little bit cosier for autumn because it's getting chillier outside and it's just getting to that point isn't it where um where we can all get all of our comfy throws out and our big snuggly pyjamas and yeah I'm very excited for it. So I just thought I'd show you some things that I've added in there and then just give you like a little tour and yeah I hope that you like it. So this was my starting point. I'd just taken a lot of things out of the room, just the cushions and just anything that was on the bedside tables and, you know, just cleared it all just to give everything a blank canvas of how it was all going to go back and how I wanted it. I then gave everywhere a good clean. I wanted it to smell a little bit autumnal, a little bit Christmassy, so I used some of the cranberry and orange Zoflora disinfectant. I just mixed some with some warm water and put it on a cloth and I just wiped that all around and the room smelled so gorgeous. I love Love these scents that Zoflora do this time of year. The cinnamons, the oranges and cranberries, all of that stuff is just completely my thing when it comes to this time of year. And on here I'm just going to put back my tray that keeps all my perfumes on it. The tray was from Home Bargains, it's the one that they do in two different sizes and this is the smaller one, it's just this mirrored diamante tray. And then I'm just going to pop all my perfumes back on there, could definitely do with a few new ones but that's what I keep on there generally. Girl, I can't forget about what we said. I am now just going to start dressing my bed. So I'm starting off by spraying it with some of the Avon Lavender um, Pillow Spray, which I have used before in videos because I love it. It just smells so nice and it's a really strong scent as well. And it's obviously great for helping you get to sleep. I am then going to add some throws to my bed that I actually got from Home Bargains. These are great because my bed is a king size and I was really struggling to find a bedspread that I liked that was in a king size that didn't cost loads and loads of money so I've decided to have two throws and just do the layered look which these I just think these look so nice this like chenille throw and this woven one I'm then just putting all of my pillows back and I'm also going to add some great big feather cushions that I also got from Home Bargains. Um, they've since gone since I went back again so I don't know if they still do them but yeah feather is great because you can do your good old karate chop at the top and I am a, one of these people that is a huge fan of that. I don't know what it is it's just really satisfying to have those little chops in the top of the cushions. I'm also going to add these that I got from B&M. You might have seen them in a haul that I did and yeah a little bit simpler than what I had before but I'm also going to add this tray. Previously I was using this outside on my decking area but now the weather's obviously getting a little bit chillier. I'm going to bring it in and I think it will make the perfect bed tray. So I'm just putting some completely unnecessary things on there but pretty things so yeah that is just um just to have a nice little bed tray on the bed i think always looks really nice then all that's left to do is add back some accessories to my bedside tables now i just mixed it up a little bit i change this round all the time i think i change it again before you see it at the end actually um i tend to go around shop my home see what i want to move around because i have that many different little trinkets and things and little um home accessories i think it is worth having a little look around your house seeing what you want to mix up and change around the place and it just feels like you've had some new things sometimes so these candlesticks used to be downstairs but I thought I'd just bring them up and do a swap with the ones that were in here before now I'm just going to give everywhere a good hoover I've said this a few times I do have a cordless one but sometimes Hetty just does a better job so I'm just going to go around with Hetty the hoover and make sure that it is all dust free and all nice and fresh carpets I'm then going to add some of these little fur rugs that I am forever buying I've got more of these than I 
probably would like to count um, but I'm just adding a couple of them to the room as well because I just think this time of year you want loads of layers of comfy throws and snuggly things and yeah this is the finished look and I will just talk you through everything in the room and yeah I hope you like it So it is all nice and refreshed now. Just excuse Rudy over there on the pillow. That is just where he likes to get himself comfy, especially when I've just made the bed. Um, new radiator cover is coming, so we just ignore this. It's really tatty and old and horrible. But the two throws, like I say, are from Home Bargains. They were really inexpensive as well. Like, I just think that the layered look is really nice. These were from b and I might have said some of this already, so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. Also from Home Bargains, these nice big feather pillows. The tray, Home Bargains, of course. Home Bargains. Um, Aldi for the Reed Diffuser. I've just got this that I got off Amazon, this one line a day book. I just think it's a really cute little book. And this Good Vibes, Good Life by Vex King, which is a good little read. Yeah, so I just thought that was a nice little bit of decoration. The marble candles, like I said, were from Home Bargains. And these candlesticks were from Asda. Fur rug, I've got two actually. And just to be really, like, honest about what the purpose of this one is for, is because this is reality for you. I burnt the carpet with my um, straighteners once, so I just keep one of those there to cover it up. So yeah. Um, smoke and mirrors always in this house loads of smoke and mirrors nothing is as nice as it seems so that just covers that up because I've ruined the carpet and um, but that one I think was from B&M this one is home bargains both very similar but actually I think this one from home bargains is a bit nicer um, it's a little bit of a nicer shape uh, mirror that was from I think that was from B&M a very long time ago and the box is from B&M that just keeps all the towels in the curtains were also from B&M. You know there's a theme. Oh, it's gone really dark. There we go. Um, the, the curtain pole is not right. It needs to go much higher. And yeah, the curtains are not quite right. I might actually end up changing them for just something a little bit lighter. But the furniture. Hey, Roo Roo. Hey. Hey, Roo. All this furniture, um, I've got the dresser and the two bedside tables are from Dunelm, as are the mirrors that are hanging up as is the picture above the bed, that is also from Dunelm. Um, the bed, I would love to change this, I feel like the colour doesn't quite go now. I had it a very long time, it was just an eBay bed, really inexpensive just for this, this bed frame, but yeah, I think a grey one would probably look a little bit better or just something, a bit, it makes it look a bit orange almost, I'm just not as keen on it, but obviously it's no problem, I'm not changing it anytime soon, but I will eventually like to change it. This little pot, I don't know where this was from, oh, TK Maxx that was from. This, still need to put a picture in it, but that was from Dunelm. And the lamps, which don't actually work, which I need to replace, were from the range. Yeah, just got that, that was from Click Marketplace, I think. Um, and then a picture frame that was either... That might have been Dunnell Mill actually. And then just on the dressing table, this little tray that I got from Home Bargains. And this mirror that I think was also from Dunnell Mill. There's always the same sort of shops that I get everything from. Um, but yeah, I just think it looks a little bit fresher. Still blingy, still lots of sparkle about, but a little bit more neutral just with the throws and things. Because... Yeah, ideally I would change a few other things in here, but I didn't want to spend loads of money. So the only things that I've bought really recently was just like the little fur rug and then the throws and the pillows, uh, the cushions, the big cushions. So yeah, I just think it looks a little bit, little, little bit more um, glam and pretty. So I'm very happy with it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. So guys, that is it for today's video. I, it was just a little one just to show you a few updates that I have been making. I am going to do a house tour. I've said it so many times, but it is definitely coming up in the next week or so. And yeah, loads and loads and loads of video ideas coming up. So I look forward to sharing them all with you. I hope you are having a really lovely week. For me today because it is Wednesday when this video goes out it is Toby's 10th birthday and we are very excited to be celebrating that 
so yeah i hope you're all enjoying your week and i would love to see you again for my next one bye everyone